Dungeons and Dragons. And junk drawer. <sighs> uh, okay. Hey everyone. So this week we had some technical difficulties with my internet. And uh, I think the stream cut out three times before we just gave up and, uh, and Justin recorded our Skype call. Um, so that's what we have for most of the video. So while you're watching, just be aware that's going to happen and um, enjoy. Did I do it right? Hello, governor. How are you doing? I'm older. Crikey. Cruising on. Oh. In it, poppycock. <laughs> oh no, Absidy's back. And he's got an accent. <laughs> <laughs> he smells something bad all the time. Uh, welcome back, guys, to another episode of Dungeons and Dragons and Junk Drawer. Ding. We are back this week with an all-new episode. Uh, we took last week off. We had to get our ducks in a row, and uh, we did. We did. We are very excited to see where this leads us going forward. Figured out how to use TikTok other than to send each other funny TikToks. Uh, because we're honestly too old to be on that platform. But we are on Instagram and we post there fairly consistently. So check it out if you would like to know when we're streaming or when we're doing other things. Like just hanging out, smoking cigars, and being boys. Boys being boys doing boy stuff. Boys. Boys. Dude, man. Be before I get started with our recap, I just wanted to uh, make a quick shout out to just Brendan Fraser. You just deserve it, buddy. Props to you. We love Can't you. Can't wait to see the new movie. You're, you're the man. Uh, so, recapping last episode should be fairly easy, fairly straightforward, fairly quick. Uh, Thor flew ahead of the entire group, landed in the bar, called in a lightning bolt just to kind of signal where he was to everyone. He found Charlotte and Nalra uh, hiding in the... Xfinity sucks. So we're back. Uh, let's just pick up where we left off. Fuck you, Donovan. Um, yeah. And follow you, us. <laughs> follow us at the Juncture Show on everything, even TikTok. Even though we're too old to be there. Uh, so jumping into last episode's recap, real quick before Josh's internet craps out again. Uh, Thor flew ahead, went to the crack tankard, found Charlotte and Nalra hiding in the basement. There, they were the only two of, from his knowledge. Eventually, Alder and Thok caught up to him while they were discussing what they were going to do next, where they were going to go. Uh, Loki, by himself, went to Ashiki's hut and found an Ashiki that did not seem like himself. As he introduced himself as Alden and tried to run away, uh, Ishiki was bisected, uh, was pulled apart, and Loki came face to face with a pit fiend demon uh, that proceeded to um, beat the ever-loving shit out of him, I think is the best way to describe that. Mm. Um, feels pretty accurate. So he gets back close enough to the crack tankard where the party engages with him. Thok saves Loki from almost certain death. Uh, and the pit fiend did manage to get away and slink back down into the ground. Before he did that, though, he muttered something about the gods and seeing that we were alive or whatever. And that was the last we had heard. There was no... Uh, knowing glances or words shared amongst the party. Um, but yeah, the pit fiend ran off and our party is uh, doing their best. So I will say, Dice Daddy, whenever you're ready. Certainly. So the smell of sulfur and burnt uh, earth or scorched earth fills your nostrils, a um, very familiar smell of when you were in Valoria and the incursion of Fleblog and Ares had occurred. The air is tense, I will say, as the four of you are amongst each other in this town and there's a streak of fire 
uh, from the wall of fire that was placed that is slowly starting to burn down and uh, eventually ascender. Uh, where the fiend was once placed is now a seal, almost as if it had opened a portal that it had broken to go back into, wherever the depths of hell it came from. And the sky that was, I would say, blue and clear is slowly starting to become grayer and darker as these big kind of billowing clouds start to pull in. Uh, the four of you, the air, I would say, becomes uh, almost uh, excited as the hairs on the top of your forearms start to rise. Um, Thor, can you do me a favor? Can you roll a wisdom check for me? Sure. Uh, 12. 12. Okay. Uh, so, uh, are we still in the positions that we are on, on the map, or are we starting to move as things were, were starting sorry, to slow? Uh, it's actually an 11, if it's a check, not a save. So, 11. Uh, it was the save, but okay, 12, 12. 12 and 11 are very similar. They are very, uh, very close to the same thing. I uh, know Thor is now uh, walking over to Loki, um, who is in worse for wear shape, uh, literally sandwiches himself in between. Uh, maybe he doesn't have to do that, but sandwiches himself in front of Loki uh, in between Thok uh, and casts... Uh, uh, healing hands where he's going to restore 14 hit points for Loki. Uh, uh, has not said anything yet. Uh, just has kind of put his hand on him and uh, casted healing hands to give him some more hit points. But he is uh, staring daggers into Loki a little bit. So, Loki, you, you are conscious as you are um, healed and pumped. Uh, you see, and you have seen this many times before, uh, maybe when you were a lot younger and with a lot more ferocity, but you start seeing lightning you start to streak from where the corners of Thor's eyes are, and it's almost like it's bouncing off of the rest of his head. And you've seen this before when he's gotten incredibly angry and usually lashes out and attacks. Uh, this is usually seen on the battlefield when you were younger, but uh, it's been a while since you've seen these. Uh, Loki sees it, but he's not paying it that much attention. Um, he knows what it means, but he he catches it um, and, and does say a quick thank you. And then he goes back to staring at the fire. Is the, the wall of fire still up? It's, it's slowly starting to, uh, I would say, dwindle down because the clouds are starting to bring rain. And this is bringing down a, uh, I would say, first a slight sprinkle, then a shower, and eventually becomes a torrential pour. Um, with your 11, uh, Thor, um, just the way that you're positioned, uh, I need Alder... And Thok to both make deck saves. Ten. Okay. Natural one. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is... Um, Pat, go ahead and mark off uh, a third level spell slot. And I need you to roll uh, 8d6. Okay. Uh, 8d6. Wait, I'm rolling it or oh. he's rolling it? He is rolling it. Oh, oops. Okay. Thor's going to be Ignore. rolling it. Ignore on roll 20 when I'm about to do that. <laughs> You're fine. DMD <clears throat> beyond, I meant. Uh, it's not as bad as it could have been. Essentially, where we're at oh, is uh, Scorched Earth. Uh, go ahead and, uh, Alder, you're going to try to charm both of them. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna stand. I'm going to stand in between the both of them. 
Okay. And I, that's a risk, and I understand it. Um, I'm going to stand in between the both of them uh, and just, fellas, calm down. This is not what we need right now. we got to collect ourselves, and uh, I'm going to cast Charm Person on the both of them, so I'm casting it at level two. Okay. So that's a, a wisdom save for both of you. Can I be Charmed while raging? raging? Um, I believe you can be. Yeah. Okay. So what is this? A wisdom? wisdom save. Uh, that Which, is a natural 20. Of course it is. <laughs> 17. Uh, that is a failure. I mean, I'm still raging. Mm-mm. I'm just charmed. You're just, you're friendly to, to That's Mike. True. You just see Alder as, as friendly. Um, and then when the spell ends, obviously, they'll know that they've been charmed. Mm-hmm. Um, so Alder, if you want to attempt to say anything to Thok before we start initiative order, uh, I would do that now. I'm just because Th- Thok, calm down. We don't need to be killing each other right now. I no, I need you. Hey, sweetie, 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 I need you to calm down. All right, chill. We're a team. We're not gonna fucking kill each other out here. And then I'm going to look back at Thorn. Same with you. We're not killing each other. Not today. We already almost died. We almost lost Loki. I'm freaking out because I feel like everything's my fucking fault right now. Need everyone to stay calm. Thor, are we pushing forward or are we... Yep. Okay. Uh, Thok, I'll probably say with the rage that, you once again, you, you do see Alder as a friendly... A uh, friendly person and ally, but you're you also were attacked. So uh, both of you go ahead and roll initiative. Do can can I jump in? If seeing you'd all like this to. thing fail, yes, I would like to. So I'm still laying on the ground, um, but seeing that Thok is going ape shit though charmed, and seeing that Thor and knowing Thor is not going to stop, I'm going to cast. Um, Hold person at fourth level. On which one? All three of you. Oh. So all of you, wisdom 18. Fuck. Fail. Seven. 14. 28. Okay. How long so, does hold person last? Um, it lasts one minute, but I'm going to use uh, one plus one is two, four, eight. Yeah, three source, three points to make it last eight minutes. Okay, I'll start the timer. Fock is literally like downward swing and just frozen, eyes red, but just held in place. And Thor, what are you doing? Uh, I am standing there. Uh, n- I'm in a pose that shows uh, I do not fear this red-eyed swinging sword thock. Okay. Just two hands um, on the hammer, uh, ready to go. I will say that lightning is still arcing off of him quite aggressively. Yeah. Can I... Uh, just question about the sorcery points. Do I have to declare it at the beginning, or can I use another sorcery point when I want to to extend it again? Uh, I would say you would have to declare it. Okay. Are we doing how, eight minutes? If we're doing eight minutes real time, I'd like to make it sixteen. How often do we nah, get to eight. save? How often do we get to roll a save? To True, see if we usually, defeat old person. If it's, I mean, it's not combat, so. Right, but it's usually um, after their turn, correct? Yes. So what I would do is say what you can now before I have them re-roll. Okay. Um, Loki's still laying on the ground and is saying, just let me sulk in peace. Just still kind of laying there. He looks at at Alder and says, move Thok. (laughs) I'm sorry. That's 
not gonna be the easiest way to do this. Oh god. Okay. Hold a summon something and move Thok. Yeah, good point. Okay. Um, and then I'm just going to uh summon uh DX uh the satyrs. Uh, so that way they can work on moving Thok further away. Okay. Uh, I mean, they're going to attempt to, but if they're in that hold person state, it's going to bind them to that one area. Does it? I thought they just couldn't move. Right, paralyzed. but it's not like a, you can pick up. Like, hold person is there, you're holding that person, unless you put them on something that you can move, so we can't move, move them. in there. I mean... You can I mean, have shit. <laughs> you can attempt to, yeah. Thok is I mean, also the heaviest member of the party. I mean, I would say that Alder, considering he also has hold person, he would know that he really would wouldn't be able. Well, I don't know because hold person technically, the status of it is paralyzed. Yeah. Uh, you become incapacitated. I'm trying to see if there's anything about that. You can't take actions or reactions. Doesn't. Can't move okay, or speak. I, I, I would imagine you're at statue. Like, I would read it as if you can move me, then you move me. But I mean, if you can, it, you can attempt to uh, to lift him up. I think you're muted, Pat. I was just saying that he's like 500 pounds. <laughs> oh, I'm not that much. It's like 450. With your armor. <laughs> I, I thought he was like 385 with armor. I thought I was like around 375. If I was He's like 2,000. I thought he was like pounds. 590 pounds or whatever. I mean, that's nothing for Hunter Sean. I'm closer Billy to 375 China. with armor. Okay, so I know this is eating into the time. So while while Alda is moving Thok, uh, Loki is going to grudgingly just move up his body to so he's sitting up and he can look at Thor. And it's you know he's he's not getting up. He's looking up here and he's just Thor. Just let it go. You can kill him with your pinky. What are you going to prove? That we can have more death today. You saw what became of Ashiki. Or at least no, what didn't. did it to him. I don't know what happened to Ashiki. Yeah, they, uh, that's why I retconned it in the middle of my sentence. He <laughs> uh, got ripped in half, brother. We don't need to do that to our party. Just let it go. Let me sulk in peace. Um, do I see... I don't know how we want to handle Paralyzed, but if I can see his face, does it look like his eyes are... At ease at all. I mean, you'd be able to see his eyes if the lightning wasn't in the way. Oh, that's true. Is it still going? I don't know, Pat. Is it still going? There was a nod. <sighs> um, um, would Alder have, uh, as uh, DX has started to move Thok um, and probably gotten him some distance while that uh, sense is happening? Have them, while they're trying to pick him up, I need them to make a strength check. Cool. All right. Hold on one second. Do like a collective. Yeah. Yeah. Because how big are these things? Not there, big. There, there's four of them. What's the What's the spell name again? Or what's the monster name again? Uh, Satis. There you go, people. Thomas. Phil from Hercules. Yeah, that's pretty much. It. Can you say Mr. Uh, Tumnus? Yeah, Mr. Tumnus. Also Mr. Tumnus. Could have been worse. They rolled a a collective 12 if I'm just doing one roll for the four of them. Oof. 12 is not great. <laughs> <laughs> so four of them are trying to, like, pull up, and they're, like, digging their hooves in, and one's, like, under Thok's thigh, like, trying to push up. The other one's like, okay, and then I'll get under here, and you man that, and they're... The four of them are very stumbly, starting to like slightly move him, um, but it's not very far or fast or efficiently. Oh, we got some time. So, um, 
And then I'm just, would Alda have recognized from that, since uh, that lightning strike from Thor didn't bring him down, would he have recognized what happened with Thok in the fact that, um, because he's gone down to zero before and popped back up? Um, I was going to say, I think think you all have seen this happen. Yeah, like I would recognize what's happening, right? That he's on the verge of death. I, yeah, like that. He's he's gone down and came back up. Like, I okay. don't see why we wouldn't. I'm just asking to make sure because that's going to be part of, like, mm. like, Thor. I'm sorry, but you can't attack him anymore. You're going to kill him. Like, that's the reason he's in this blind rage right now is because he he what just hit him brought him down to death it's just he's got that ability that makes him pop right back and that's why he's going crazy i'm trying to get him under control i swear but you're gonna kill him kill him if you keep attacking him and loki i'm really sorry about everything i i i I, will talk after we get this sorted but i'm 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 happy you're here, I'm happy you're safe, and I'm happy you're okay, but I'm very, very sorry, and I'd like to work with you more on trying to be better, because clearly I'm... I hold up Ashiki's book, I'm like, clearly this didn't get me as far as I hoped it would. So, Loki... As as Loki is about... As you're about to say this, I need Thor and Thok to, to roll wisdom saves. I was going to say, now, in all fairness, you also have seen that nothing's really ever stopped my rage except knocking me unconscious. And that was a 20, not natural. Natural 20. Okay. Cold person's dead. The the spell is dissipated as you see both of their muscles relax and then tense back up. If we're moving forward, I need everyone to roll initiative. Charm person is still up on Thok, by the way. Okay. I'll just friend you. I. Okay. Uh, 20 and over? 21. Okay. 15 (laughs) and over? 19. Okay. Uh, Thok, what did you get? Six. Alder? Also six. All right. Who has the higher decks? I have zero decks. Uh, I do. Okay, so it is Thor. <clears throat> um, about how far did the site is push Thok, and who's in my way? Not very far. And, okay. Uh, I mean, up until that point, what is it, Alder? Did you get in front of? Uh, in between Thok and Loki and uh, Thor, I definitely am in between the two of them, um, and I believe Loki said he was laying on the floor in front of him. No, not in front of him. I have not okay. moved a single okay. step. My bad. So I'm still in the same spot. Okay, so then I guess realistically, Thok is at least one square back, and I am in between the two of them. Okay, so you know your positioning. Uh, okay. So, is I guess this is a this is a DM question and all the question. Am I able to move through all the space to hit Thok, or is he opposing me where I can't move through? Are we allies in this moment? I don't. I I'm I will looking. say in this regard, I'm going to rule everyone as hostile, unless they're charmed by another person, which. Thok and Alder, you can move about freely between each other. Okay. Because things uh, are tense. Yeah, no. I that's I thank you for the clarification. That's all I wanted. Um this uh then what I'm going to do is new character who this. Um <laughs> there's a thing that I learned that okay. Uh I'm gonna use uh, a bonus my bonus action for tempestuous magic uh as a bonus action you can cause gust uh gusts of air to surround you before or after you cast a spell of first level or higher 
that allows you to fly up to 10 feet without provoking an opportunity attack. Uh, would that be uh, able, able to be used because I cast the lightning uh, involuntarily before? Uh, I would say outside of using the spell slot, the because it wasn't an action that you used on that turn, I would say the lightning does not count towards that. Okay, then uh, before or after I cast a spell. Okay, so then uh, I'm going to use that before. Um, fly 10 feet in the air over these gentlemen, uh, not taking an opportunity attack from either one of them uh, because I'm 10 feet in the air. And then from behind Thok, I am going to... Um, how mean do I want to be? Uh, Don't think I, like Pat, think like Thor. I know, I'm really mad. They almost killed my brother. And he's the only one I have left. Uh, I'm going to cast... Uh, I'm going to smash the ground with the hammer. Two-handed. Um, and cast Shatter on the ground. Uh, okay. So that is instantaneous. I need you... It is in a 10-foot area. I need you both to make uh, con saves. Oh, it's cocked. Natural 20. Okay. Sorry, I didn't realize I was muted. 21. Okay, so you're both going to take uh, half of this. Oh, I'm going unconscious regardless. Eight. Oh, I know. Eight. I'm rolling really well on a day that it, I shouldn't. I shouldn't roll well today. <laughs> 20. Uh, 22. So you both take 22 points of thunder damage. And I am unconscious. And uh, with my remaining movement and Thok being unconscious... I'm going to take one step in front of, uh, I guess, over Thok's body and stand nose to nose down at Alda. Unmoving, unspeaking, staring. And that'll end my turn. Okay. It's Loki's turn. Um, Loki's going to uh, just hop atop the uh the building and just stand up here okay um so that that's my movement um i'm going to cast a cantrip minor illusion i'm um, sorry i'm just trying to Okay, yep, I'm going to cast Minor Illusion to create the illusion of a fiddle in my hand. And Loki's going to, with the rest of his turn, just pantomime fiddling while his group burns. Nero-esque. Okay. And then did you... Very symbolic. I know that you were, you were texting. Uh, is Loki doing anything else in particular? Or do you want to wreck on that? Uh, no, no, I, I, I like that. I just wanted subtlety. Roll a slight hand check. Slight of hand. Hold on. That is a 28. Okay. No Slightest one sees it. Ever. Uh, so... Alder, as we round to your turn, there is a rumbling in the distance. And before long, uh, I would say about 30, 40 feet away is a, uh, is a massive fire giant. Uh, what? As I pull that up, Alder, it's your turn as 
Thor has not looked past, like, away from you. Just gonna put this here for reference. Be right back. Sure. I'll miss you. That's you. Yeah, that's good. There we go. Guess I have to. Fucking bullshit. Um, <laughs> and... <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, <laughs> I'm literally just going to look at him and be like, Loki's on the verge of death. Thok's pretty much dead. Let's move him out of the way and we'll get back to this later, all right? And I'm going to call the satyrs over to me to help pull Thok behind this house. And that's going to be our action for the group is just uh, is just to grab his body and, and pull him to cover. Uh, have him roll another strength check to see if... Uh, at advantage, because you're helping them. Natural 20. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I would say within your... You're able to move half your movement speed of him uh, between the, the five of you. So my movement speed's 35, so do we round up? Would that be 20 or 15? 20. Okay. Then uh, one, two, oh, three. Oh, shit. Can you move yourself to here, Thok? <laughs> oh, shit, look at me. Sorry, I, because y'all's cameras was hiding the giant. I just saw the giant. Uh, <laughs> yeah. can you, can, Justin, can you delete the onk? Uh, yeah, give me one second. I'm just... Yeah, yeah, yeah no problem. The spiritual weapon's gone. I forgot it was up. Uh, these uh, <laughs> sorry no worries there's that and then for brevity there you go thank you and i'm just gonna if thor wants to swing on me for walking past them he's got every right to i'm not stopping him i'm taking care of thok he he's He's down, and there's not much I can do about it. I don't have any healing potions on me. I gave them to I, I gave gave them to other members of our party when they needed them. So. Okay. Uh, then that would bring it to uh, Thok's turn, which you are currently unconscious. So, go ahead and roll a uh, a death save for me. That is a failure. Okay. That is a three. At least they're on a one. (laughs) Back up to the uh, top of the order. It is now Thor's turn again. Uh, So Thor will turn uh, and look to Loki and just stare at him as he's flying up and just say, hide. Uh, And then he's going to... uh, bring all the lightning he can uh, and take all of the anger and the frustration he's had over the last several minutes and focus it in a lightning bolt faced at this fire giant. Okay. Uh, so you're doing a fire bolt, or I'm sorry, a lightning bolt? A lightning bolt, yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll that attack, uh, roll that spell. Uh, it is a dexterity save. Dex save. Um, it's going to autofill. I, I figured, but uh, I'm thinking like Pat and not like Thor, so. Of course. Uh, and Thor would use a sorcery point to reroll these because he's not sure that it's not real hopefully it's not real who's to say that was marginally better uh 10 16 26 uh 29 32 points of lightning damage okay the 32 uh points of lightning this giant lightning bolt as you bellow and essentially you become a human lightning rod as you burst forward and through, destroying several buildings behind it as this illusion of a fire giant just dissipates. That's kind of what I thought. It's kind of what Pat thought, I should say. And yeah, as you see this illusion 
disappear. Uh, what else do you, you want to do before your turn ends? Uh, I am... Do I have any? Hold on, let me see if I have any uh, healing potions in my... I do not. Do not. Um, so I am going to uh, walk towards the cracked tankard and try and compose myself. Okay. Uh, we can continue to be in uh, initiative if uh, I'll say Loki and Alder as the other two parties who are awake. If you'd like to continue, we can. If not, we can end the initiative round here. Uh, only thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to dig through Thok's belongings to see if I find a healing potion. Okay, that's something hey. you can do if we're out of, you know, initiative order. I, I just need to know if we're continuing. Or not. Uh, no, I'm not. I, 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 uh, if there's not an actual fire giant to fight, I am not fighting anything. Okay, Loki. Loki's not fighting anything either. He's uh, going to continue with his fiddle, um, <laughs> adding bits of fire in his vision, kind of like an augmented reality thing. So within the within the um, five by five cube that I have. Mm -hmm. He's going to create fire on stuff, but from his view. So it just kind of looks like an orb of fire around him while he plays. Okay. Um, and, and with that, he's going to hop down off the roof okay. uh, and just kind of start moving through where the satyrs are. Um, and he's strolling. He's kind of just... It's not... It's not light and happy, but it's presented that way, almost a an emotional overwhelm that leads to feigned apathy. Um, as he walks around, not looking at the other two, not looking at Thor, and just walking away. Okay. And Thor, is it still raining? Uh, yes. Okay. So I will give the floor to the three of you. Uh, Alder, I know that you want to look for um, a healing potion. So if you have one in your bag, Thok, just communicate that to Alder. Uh, what are you guys doing? I do. That okay, I'm gonna kind of take standard. it, take it, and shove it down his throat so I can at least get him alive. Do you want me to roll it, or you want to roll it? You can roll it. Huh. <clears throat> uh, what? <laughs> that was me breathing, being coming back to life. Oh, okay, great. I thought oh, you yes. rolled, I thought you rolled like a negative fifteen or something. <laughs> you were no, like, I'm no, super no. dead now. Oh, this is how I got skull and crossbones. Shit. <laughs> that was is that, that was like being like <gasps> coming back to life. Okay. Weird. This jug with XXX on it isn't a healing potion. I thought, I thought it was it meant sexy, sexy potion. <laughs> No! Uh, seeing, uh, I hate when this happens. Seeing Alder, like, over me, like, feeding me a healing potion, I just look at him in the eyes, and I'm like, oh, fuck, what did I do? Did I hurt anyone? You tried to. <sighs> Sorry. I don't think I'm the one you need to apologize to. Come on, let's get up. Let's go inside. Let's give them a <sighs> second, but... Let's get inside. I get up, and in order to avoid that happening again, I'm going to do a level four cure wounds on myself. Okay. So you go ahead and you take that uh, that healing energy back in, and you uh, heal your wounds as the two of you... I, I'm assuming everyone is heading back into the crack tankard. 
Yeah, I'm going to just take a second before we go in just so I can be like, okay, so (sighs) Pit Fiend went away. You probably remember that, right? Okay, once Thor came down to us, he had some kind of like lightning outburst that caught all of us, um, put you into a fit of rage. I charmed you, so sorry about that, to try and stop you from attacking. It didn't no, stop no, him. No, no, look. It I... didn't stop him from attacking. I tried to stand in the way between the two of you because we need to get our shit together. Right now, fighting each other is not going to solve a fucking thing. I fucked up. I feel bad about that. And uh, this, this is just, we can't, we're, we're too far to implode on each other right now. No, like, I, I gotcha. Um, you just said it yourself, like, I thought with the deal that you made with what's his face, there wouldn't be any demons or anything from the nine hells interfering. I didn't make a deal with anybody. Didn't you? I no. you? Out of game that I not know about the whole thing with you and Lucifer? You didn't make a deal. I never oh. made a deal. No. He no, offered. He, made a deal. he offered and I told him to piss off. I don't know if you were there for when I said that exactly to him, but there's been no deal made with him. Maybe this is him sending a message. I don't know. I mean, it's also not like we haven't seen these kind of things before. We saw the succubus. We, we've we seen shit like this around, so I don't think this is necessarily from him. <clears throat> Anything from the Nine Hells, I just assume it's from him. So who do I need to apologize to? Both of them, or just mainly Thor? We probably have to apologize to everybody. I have to apologize to everybody, so. But, like I said, you, he hit you in a bit of rage, then you went into a bit of rage, and then I tried to stop you from your bit of rage hitting his bit of rage, and then his bit of rage hit you, and then, um, yeah, that's where we're at. Yeah, I got you. Thank you, by the way. Yeah, of course. I'm so sorry if you heard Shay almost throw up behind me. Oh. Is that what that was? Yeah, she just had like a weird cough. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Um, but now that I've got that out of the way, I will uh, just start walking towards the crack tank and to go inside. Okay. I'll follow Given, else? Having given them a few moments to calm down. Do I see Loki not walking with the rest of the party? Uh, I would assume that you're hyper-focused on him, so I would assume yes. Cool. I'm going to fly and just drop down right in front of him. Okay. So, Loki, as you're moving, Thor lands in front of you in the pouring rain. Do I get to roll something to juke? <laughs> to juke what? To juke him in front of me. Go ahead and roll a, um, a right trigger for a hit stick. You're not gone. Uh, go, I mean, go ahead and make a uh, an acrobatics check. Ah, oh, no worries. That's why I'm recording. Uh, he rolled a nine. He rolled a nine. He's, He's not, not going to make it. it. <laughs> uh, okay, good. So just so you know, Josh, this is what it's like when I cut out. I can hear all of you guys, and it's so frustrating. You have no idea until it happens to you. I'm sure Josh feels the same way I have. I do now. Because <laughs> it's literally that everyone's like, "Oh, we can't hear him." Oh, he froze up, and I'm like, "I'm right here. I'm here." Um, so because Loki can't open his mouth right now, I'm gonna jump on this opportunity and say, uh, "Have you learned nothing? Walking away on your own does nothing but trouble." 
and also fuck you. You're my Donovan. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Josh. So can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Good. Ah, okay. Yeah, he 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 says back. Me being here does nothing but trouble, brother. And if you don't mind, I would like to finish what I came here to do. We can finish it as a party. There are people that we need to get out of here safely. Leaving them alone after we've drawn all this attention to this area does nothing but good. You are already close to death. Who knows if there's anything else waiting for you in Ashiki's house or what's left of it? Ah, uh, well then perhaps I will finally finish something in my life. Um, and he casts uh, Misty Step to go 30 feet toward Ashiki's hut. Okay. Um, I'm not sure which hut is Ashiki's hut. I thought it was top right. We're going to say for brevity it's top right. Okay, one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, just six. Six. Yeah. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then just continue. Um, I'm going to use my divine sense to cast detect good and evil. Okay. And just uh, can you give me the clarification or definition of that spell? Yes, the presence of strong evil registers on your senses, senses like a noxious odor, and a power, powerful good rings like heavenly music in your ears. As an action, you can open your awareness to detect such forces. Do you want the whole thing? No, that's that's perfectly fine. Uh, the only thing that you really hear is the uh, lightning uh, as you're getting from Thor. Uh, as far as anything evil, the only thing you're getting are the remnants of the seal, that was uh, done, and then the lingering odor of uh, where Shiki's hut is. Um, also, you might not get any of that, because I'm going to cast Lightning Lure once I'm in within 15 feet of him, and then I'm going to drag him behind me all the way back to the Crack Tankard. Okay, roll for Lightning Lure. Uh, it is a strength save. Go ahead and make a strength save. <laughs> Okay, I might have something with my order that gives me an advantage on that. I don't know if it's strength or not. I'm trying to find it. Do you know off the top of your head, Justin? For off top of my head specifically, I'm trying to Google. What are you trying to? I know the, it's not my oath. But there's something where I have, it might just be charisma that I have advantage against. I thought I had advantage against certain saves or on certain saves. It's most likely things that would charm. You would have to look under your features. I'm, I'm looking now. Yeah. Okay. I'm it's just a lot of things, so I don't want. <laughs> it's a lot. So, yeah. I mean, you have your divine sense, you have your, your smites, you have your channel divinities, which is just conjure, duplicate, and poison strike. You have your extra attacks. Um, you should see spell casting. Yeah, your meta magic. On, so if you're on DMV Beyond, it should say it under your saves because I have an advantage on Dex against yep. this. It would also tell you. You don't have an advantage on strength saves. It looks okay. like it's just a basic strength save. Okay, it might just be that I can carry things as if I'm a big boy. Yep. Okay, strength save. Mm -hmm. Ah. Uh, fifteen. Failure. Sixteen was the save. So close. So, so close. <laughs> you lurch forward and almost like you're being wrung by your ankles, you're slowly being dragged in the opposite direction. Yeah, I'm not going to use the um the the lightning damage that would come with this typically. Um I'm just dragging him into the tank because I've had enough today. Okay. Yeah. And Loki's just going to uh accept it. Except what's happening. Okay. Continue to continue to play his fiddle, um, but while being dragged. Okay. Uh, so we'll Double catch up Georgia. with uh, <laughs> Alder and Thok as you two enter the tankard. Uh, Charlotte immediately greets you and goes, is everything okay? You, fuck, you guys look, whose blood is that? Is that yours? Mine, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. 
Yeah, Is there anybody um, drinking here? Yeah, I'll uh, I'll get that. Nara, uh, if you can, just get us uh, a bucket of water and rags. And Nara just kind of looks up big, big eyed and runs to the back of the kitchen. And she goes, I feel like we're going to have to drink a lot tonight. I'll be back. Please, uh, literally take any table. They're all available. I just go to the nearest one. I don't even care which one. Yeah. Then I just plop down on that seat. And it is, I would say, just the two of you. Uh, if you want to get anything out before uh, Thor comes barreling in with a dragging Loki. No, between between Thor and myself, I don't have I don't have anything. Thor will say to you. Um... Have you been able to talk? I know that some of the things that you guys have been talking about, I've had to be left out of the loop for, for obvious reasons. But mm-hmm. um, have you been able to talk to them about the conversations that we've had with, I guess, his infernal highness or whatever the fuck he wants to call himself? I haven't brought him up. And that's because his goal right now is the same as our goal. That might possibly be something that could be used to our advantage at some point. I'm not 100% sure. But I have a feeling it's just going to complicate things if we talk about it. I don't know. But as it stands, everything's complicated right now. So who the fuck knows? So you want to keep from two gods that we have at least had conversations with an anti-god? I don't even know what the hell to consider him. I, I, don't, I don't know what he is. I, he's... Who would know more information than gods to know how to deal with him? Like, I know that he's right now has shared goals with us, but who's to say that he's the first one to turn around and stab us in the back? Like, he's not to be trusted. It's part of the reason why I'm not trusting him. Fair enough. So is this something you would prefer me not say anything about then? I mean, this is essentially your your decision. For right now, I think we keep it quiet. If he... I mean, I haven't heard from him since, but if he tries to continue talking, tries to get in my head again, I'll probably bring it up. But... Okay. As of right now, he seems like he seems like he's out of the picture because he doesn't have the power to handle what we're dealing with. Just know if he does gain the power to handle it and he turns against us, I will mm-hmm. not. I, I, you're a great friend, but I will not keep this promise. Uh, well, I know. Yeah, if he, I mean, again, he's not. There's no alliance with him or anything like that. I'm just, I'm with you in the fact that if he decides to go ahead and turn against us or try and kill us, we're gonna fucking kill him. Like, that's the plan. Or we'll die trying, I guess. Well, it seems to be the motto of anything these days. I'll say, as you're sitting, Manu is sitting on the table. Like, he just kind of apparates. And he goes, I mean, if I may, just interject very briefly. What are we going to explain exactly when the Avatar of Wrath joins the forces against the Apocalypse? We did kind of make a deal, yeah? We did kind of make a deal. Who did we make a deal with? I didn't make a deal with anybody. And Manu's going to look at Alder and then at Thok. Do you not remember the little the little bird bloke we were with and her boss? <sighs> Fuck, Ren did agree, didn't she? Yeah, and she was with us at the time. Yeah, we asked her! Yeah. So, there's that. Yeah, that's a conversation we have to have then. Also, I need to have the conversation about the library that Pelor showed me that Tristan's still guarding. About the what with the who? Uh... It's easier if I think all three of us are here, or all four of us, all three of y'all, all five of y'all. Fuck. 
damn, Thor hit me harder than I thought. Yeah, Charlotte, no, we're gonna just dump a lot of alcohol. You couldn't count before that. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't See, read. I could count. Very good. That's one thought. <laughs> if I can hit you, I would. Yeah, well, get mine. How could you be in my head, but how come my wounds don't transfer to you? Oh, it's because I'm already dead, mate. Yeah, but I've been dead. Anyways, I'm not gonna worry about thinking about that. Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna look around for a bottle of anything alcoholic. Like because I'm assuming this place is deserted. Yeah, it's essentially a ghost town. Yeah. I'm looking for any liquor of any kind. Yeah, Charlotte's. I mean, Charlotte's bringing, like, yeah, she's oh, bringing us stuff. Who's enough? As you, you, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say that I'm just tending to my wounds and bandages and stuff. Okay. As you do so, the doors of the uh, crack tankard open. As Thor, you come through. You stating anything? You saying anything? Uh, actually, Loki comes through first, uh, just kind of flung. I imagine him just kind of sliding on the floor. Like he's hard uh, uh No, just <laughs> like back first, just fiddling. Um, oh. like I swung him <laughs> underneath like, <laughs> like the doors. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he comes in first, and uh, Thor pushes the door open behind him. Uh, as you see, this... Uh, kind of looks like a rope uh, made of from lightning, kind of dissipates in his hands. And he just looks at everyone. I lost my temper. Got a lot to say. Not in front of the child. We... And, uh, I was just gonna say, and then Thor turns, sees like Nora standing there, and just smiles at her, and just stands waiting. Uh, again, trying his best to relax. Uh, go ahead, Loki. Loki's still laying there. Um, he has stopped playing the fiddle, but it still exists. And he looks up at, because you threw me head first, right? So he kind of tilts his head back up at uh, Alderaan Thok and says, are we still burning? I don't see any fire. And he, he Always looks, the dramatic one. He looks over at Thor. And he just begins playing again. Um, I'm going to put my hand on Nalra's shoulder. I'm like, Nalra, how about... You go with Charlotte for now. And I mean, she may need your help on gathering a few things. And you see her, and she has the, the rags in the bucket. Like, she has to hold the bucket with both hands as she kind of waddles in. And she puts it lightly down and the rags next to it. And she goes, sensing the the tenseness in the room. She goes, oh, okay. And in an or <laughs> in orcas, I'm just going to say thank you. And... And you just see a small smile on her lips before she kind of scatters off. And you see Charlotte, and she just puts the hearing the entire conversation because it's not an exactly boisterous place anymore. You just kind of see her put the uh, the bottles down on the uh, the bar counter, and she just says, uh, "We'll uh, we'll be in the in the cellar. We'll uh, we're gonna clean up a few things." So. Yeah. I, uh, I I nod to her as a thank you, and I grab the bottle. Uh, I, I will also call after her and just let her know uh, uh, we'll be leaving soon to get anything ready that she needs. Okay, we'll get packed. Uh, I'll pop the cork and take a swig, and I walk up to Th uh, Thor, and I hand it and say, oh. I, I'm so sorry. That was not meant to happen. I thought I was okay. And then I lost control. And I am sincerely sorry for anything I may have done since I don't remember. 
and I'm extending with the bottle in hand, offering it to you as a truce. Uh, I will, I will take the bottle. Uh, thank you, Thok. Um, I also apologize for acting rashly. Um, Don't, but that whatever you did worked. There, uh, there are a few things I need to get off my chest. So, um, thank you. Uh, I accept your truce. I do not look at you in any different light we all lose control sometimes uh and assuming that you can kind of see out the doors thor's going to kind of gesture behind him um where there is just houses decimated from the lightning bolt he threw at a giant that wasn't real um and he will uh kind of just gesture thok to have a seat and Thok is just going to go to the nearest chair, kick it out from underneath the table, kind of like flop on it, and just put his feet on the table, leaning back. I would just like to run through a quick summary of events. Um, Alda spoke to Famine. Loki got mad at Alda. Went ahead of everyone, but not far enough in front of you guys that you lost sight of him. I hung back for couple of minutes and in that time you managed to let loki after speaking to famine one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse you let him go somewhere by himself do i have everything correct to this point loki's music gets louder not intentionally he said he was going the end so that's where we headed i tried to communicate with him he did not want to talk to me because he was mad at me for not asking the right questions which i am still very sorry about and i want to work on that and i hope we can work on that together with that being said we yelled at him as he continued to walk further ahead of us faster than we can walk where are we going and he did an illusion in the sky pointing us towards the direction of the tankard we thought that's where he was going, that's where he was signaling he was going, and then when we got here, he was not here. So he was trying, I believe he was trying to throw us off his path, but I, I didn't see when he veered off. Yes, brother, don't be bad. They are simple minds to fool, and I am a genius. You don't have to be a dick about it. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> um... For clarification, Thok, you did roll high enough last session to know. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Uh, I, I, was I turned to Loki and I'm like, I might be a fool, but you're not sneaky. I just thought you needed space. And he looks at Thok, continues playing, strikes a wrong note, pauses, gives, give him, gives him a wink, and goes back. I cast silence just so that... The <laughs> freaking <laughs> instrument is in silent like so i want loki outside of the silence bubble but i want the fucking instrument in the silence bubble loki's gonna barrel roll into the silence <laughs> bubble <laughs> oh my god i, I drop silence <laughs> can we <laughs> please just let's just stay together how about that how about we just stay as a group that we've tied ourselves to since Stoneward, and we just fucking stay together because. Well, no offense, but you say that, but you were the first one that flew ahead of us. When you I know mean, that Alder and I can't fly. I flew ahead of you and told you where I was. I had yes, no and then intention. Yes, followed your brother, who told us where he was, or at least where we presumed he was. And then obviously that's where, where he was in. And yes, I may have noticed that he went to a different direction, but he was also pissed and he was upset and I thought he needed some space. And I, you know, but I, like, we're two mere mortals here and you two are gods. How about instead of you telling me to get my shit together, both of you get your shit together. You've been around for how long? Thok, I, I greatly appreciate your truce. I greatly appreciate it. Telling us to get our shit together after thousands of years of life 
is not going to resolve the issue between the four of us any faster. So how about the four of us stay the fuck together? How about that? And then we won't have to worry about you losing your tempo or me losing mine. Fair enough. I'll take another squig and I just grab the bottle. Oh my god. And Alda, where were you in the fight for Loki's life? I saw you run behind a house and I didn't see you again until you were trying to stop me from hitting Thok. Where was that excitement and that urge to be in between things when you were casting lightning bolt from a thousand feet away i mean i wasn't cast well never mind semantics i i was still fighting to try and keep loki alive it's not like i wasn't trying to make hits on him because i was and i was succeeding i obviously have some thoughts in my head and that's why and i'm gonna reach for a bottle and uncork it and say we haven't really had proper time to talk about everything so we need to do that and i'm going to as i'm saying i'm like i'm in my own head about the fact that i couldn't figure out who famine was when i saw a demon thing whatever the fuck it was i got scared because of who we saw when we were taking care of the grave robber situation and i think right now we are about to get stuck in the middle of a bigger war than we thought we were going to be a part of because when we were there we were I'm just going to say, like, don't, like, don't say the name, though. Oh, oh, and he's... Go. Manu's signaling that to me? Yeah, he's like, don't say the name. Don't say the name. He, he'll he say it out loud. Like, don't, just don't say his name. Hey, sorry. It's not the... Can, can, can we write it down? Don't, no, don't, don't. Do you guys not know anything about anything? No, you don't write it down. You definitely don't say the name. We were visited by um, say it backwards? the bad no. one, uh, like the real bad one, like the morning star. Loki stops playing. If you two want to, you don't even have to roll religion checks. <laughs> he is also trying to stop the end of the world. Because he wants to end it on his own terms. He's not strong enough to do anything right now. Because these people are stronger than he is. And. Right now what his goal is. Is he's trying to gather avatars. For himself. Not trying to get avatars of gods. But trying to get avatars of. The seven deadly sins. Hearing seven deadly sins, Loki sits up, turns around. He's still sitting on the ground, and he has just a a blizzard of frost around his hand. And he's staring at Alda. You talk to Pointy. <laughs> you talk to the beautiful meanie boy. And you're just telling us now. He stands when, up. Did, when did I have time to tell you guys? When The second you moving, saw us. We have been moving nonstop. And when I tried to communicate with you guys last time, you were in the middle of a battle. As soon, Because I tried to communicate with you immediately, but you were in the middle of a battle and you couldn't talk. Although we had an entire battle. ride in a whale to get here. Or to get there. Yep. We met yep. at a point and then whaled together i think loki shoots his um ray of frost at the wall next to him and he prepares another one 
you Look, had I don't all think that. You guys realize how hard it is to communicate with y'all. Like you again, you're intimidating as fuck. I'll say it. There, happy. I've said it. You're intimidating as fuck. You're crazy as fuck. Both of you are strong as shit. I've died how many times around you already? And how do you think that I like we would feel like if we said something that upset you? As it is, I've already gone unconscious around you probably like once a week. So it's not easy talking to y'all. No offense, like. Yeah, and we also I mean, been trying to talk I about. I have to say too, but I haven't been able to say it either because we haven't had the time. But guess what? Here in this nice round table, it's round, right? I assume it's round. We're all equal. There's the bottle, drink, and we tell. Now's the time to say whatever we need to fucking say. You know, Alder also... finally was able to say what he needed to. Sorry, Alder, continue. <laughs> no, and it's nope. also one of the things that we said previously is we were trying to be careful about information around. I, yes. But w you guys did that together. Was he not there? No, I was here. No, not. I, uh, all right. Point proven. <laughs> he already knew. We were in a whale's mouth for three hours. You had the opportunity to tell us. Come hella high water. I've gone unconscious <laughs> around you guys more times than I can count, too. I've only remembered that I'm a god for. A couple of months and we've been together for dm would you say it's like close to a year now eight months six months i, I know we lost like around. three months <laughs> overall you guys have been together mentally i would say maybe around like seven or eight months and then together for about a year we've been together for a while there is no I understand. I understand. We exude a little bit of different energy than you guys may be accustomed to. I, I get it. But if we are going to help you, we need the information. We need it. I know. And I'm and sorry. I was wrong. That's a big bit of information to keep to yourself for quite some time. Well, You're I should right. probably also disclose the information that Pellard probably. Said Is he going to fight us too? No, he's actually. It was kind of confusing. He showed me a library guarded by his previous avatar, or at least the remnants of them. Maybe. And. I think this is a good place to start. Libraries have information. And now we're lacking that information between us. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yes. OK, I'm back. I've been trying to say something, but my internet cut out. So as, <laughs> as Thor minutes. was talking, <laughs> as Thor was talking, he Loki began to just pace around, just anger, just anger. He's going to take that ray of frost that he has held and attack himself with it out of just pure frustration. Uh, I did 14 points of damage. <laughs> oh my God. So taking that with that, as he takes the damage, he says, fuck! You want us to feel bad for you because you're afraid to talk to us. You are trying to stop the world from ending. How does that measure up against talking to two demigods who are on your side who have lost most of their powers and have been by your side for an entire year are you up to this task can you do it uh, to be honest with you i don't fucking know if we can do it but I mean, gonna you're stop afraid trying? to talk no. to us yes i'm afraid have you ever had to worship a god have you ever been a mortal no you don't know what it's like to be one of us. I mean, you've I obviously never been around to Odin. You're right, I haven't. So what mm -hmm. other secrets are you hiding? Older, fuck. What is happening? We feel like we know nothing. I feel like I know nothing. Sorry, Thor, can't speak for you, I guess. What's happening? How, why are we just finding this out now? It says the person that's been impersonating somebody else for half the time that we've known them. Because I had to. 
I had and to. And don't you think that we feel like we had to do what we had to do? Am I sorry? Yes. I wish I didn't feel that way. And I wish I would have opened up sooner. But I can't change the past now. Hence the reason why I'm doing it now. I'm telling you everything I know at the moment. So is Alder. Loki, he's he's right. He's right. We can't do anything. We can't do anything to change what's happened. We can only do something to change it moving forward. Listen, I've made my mistakes. I'm sorry. I know it's only been a few days since it happened. I should have told you right away. You're right. And that sucks. I can't do anything to change what I did in the past. But it happened. He's trying to gather people. And the last bit of information that I have to tell you is that he tried to ask me. Yeah. As as he's talking, Loki's listening, but he's he's trying very hard to make it all to feel like he's not listening. He's gonna cast Mage Hand and get a bottle of whatever he can find, something that presumably strong, and bring it over to him. This is all while he's talking. Uh, hand the bottle off to him, and then Mage Hand's just going to be doing this <laughs> while he's drinking. And I'm going to push the mage hand down and be like I deserve that I do comes back I deserve that I told him to piss off but Ren didn't who I'm I'm sorry the bird that is on my island made a deal she has a name most people have names, yes. Not that I care about. I do now. She made a deal with the pointy bad one. <laughs> yes. Fucking hell. Now you we see why we didn't bring it up right away? Because the, yes, we do. See why we didn't bring it up? Because she was still with us. That's why it wasn't no, brought up. No, I don't see why. No, it would have been That's a worse better. reason. She was right there. You say this one here. She did it, not us. Sorry. We were there, though. And that's why Loki, we're telling you. Because stop, we're a team. Stop, we're a Vanguard. We have to go. We have to go. We have to go. Uh, Thor is going to throw the door open to the basement and go, uh, ladies, time to go. We need to move now. Uh, very quickly. And uh, while he's helping Charlotte and Nolra... Uh, up the stairs, mm. he's going to uh, kind of turn back and look at Alder and Thok and say, if anything has happened to anyone in this island, you have no idea how scary we can be. Not a precipice of an idea. And their blood will be on your hands. You don't think we already feel that way? You don't think we already no, feel that way? No, I don't think you feel that way. I don't. You know, you're not helping your case about making us feel better around you now. Especially with blood like that. You can murder an island of people that we are trying to save and relocate. And you want to blame me for making threats. My husband to be is one of those people on that island. Do not think I feel like shit already. Do you know where? Is he on the island? Do you know? How, when was yeah, the last time you talked island? to them? I actually don't know either. So. <laughs> They're not on the island. They're on the boat. Oh, that's well, right. is, is Ren on the island? Because she was with us originally with the whale. She was. Uh, I'm going to retcon her that she is on the island. Okay. Look, we can have a despite or we can go. We need to Again, go. There's now. nothing we can do about changing the past now. We I'll have information for you as well. We will share it when we get back to the island and make sure everyone is safe. Sure. Uh, and um, Thor will look at Loki with a knowing glance. Um, and just kind of nod his head down and just be like, brother. Finally. And he begins to look. He he starts to look back at the two of them, but it's it's like a, a disappointed parent who had all the trust in the world, and then they're like, oh, you fucking, you broke the rules. Why'd you do that to me? But I'm so angry and also so sad. It's like, I, I can't. And it, it'll go with Thor. And leave. Um, we Bring are going to, of course, we are going to funnel the party um, 
before we make it headway into the forest, we are going to, uh, Thor is going to lead them to Ashiki's, what's left of Ashiki's hut. Mm-hmm. And um, just say quickly, we need to search. Um, the, the, the beast said Ashiki was doing research for us. We need to see if there's remnants of anything here. Loki, yeah. how can we help? Oh, God. And, and uh, Thor's going to also kind of like levitate off the ground again uh, and just lightning through the sky. Not no no ground, just through the sky, lighting up all of the remnants of everything around Ashiki's hut, just to provide a little bit better light. Okay. Um. So, I'm, uh, Loki's going to cast cast dancing lights, and I believe I get four of them. Yeah, you do get four. Yeah, so four of them. One of each is going to go to the four of us. The um, the two to Alder and Thok <coughs> will be like a little bit further away. Shake and then go closer. Um, I'm gonna while light that's, up clips. Uh, the while that's happening, uh, when Eclipse lights up, to answer Thor's question, look look for books, papers, anything with words. Fuck, I this would have been so much easier if he hadn't been destroyed. Uh, who has um. Who's the best at finding things in our group? I mean, I'm perceptive as hell, but I'm not good at... No, I know it's not you. I already knew that answer. Only got a plus one. Okay, I'm going to go... Kind of good. I'm going to go out to Loki and be like, don't get mad at me. I'm just trying to help. And I'm going to touch him and cast Guidance. So you get to default on an investigation. I would say roll a group investigation check. Oof. Okay. Well, I'm still giving him the guidance to try and buff him up. Can I, can I guide myself? Yes, you uh, can. I think so, yeah. Okay, then I... Ooh, that's a good one. Um, uh, modded 19. Okay. 14. Uh, mine it's like a 19, a... but it's less. <laughs> mine's mine's an Bruh. 8. Six. 12. Did you add the d4 to that? I did. Yeah, yeah I got a 1. Yikes. Damn it. 14 is better than a 13. Should have rolled. I should have. We should have guided me just because I have a hot hand tonight, but that's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Okay. Hot hand, hot hand. So the four of you start almost like mystery team. You're just kind of looking for clues. I like voice. <laughs> Fuck. Let's search for Throw clues. Pillows. Uh, you find most of the uh, papers and whatnot are actually not intact. Most things have been desecrated in this from whatever fiend or beast that was in here. Um, however, Thor, with your 19, you are able to find a um, a slip of paper that appears to be ripped. However, it looks like to be the beginning of a name as uh, there is a capitalization as you see G, A, L, and then a rip. Gal Gadot. Hot. Nice. And who was that that saw that? Me. Thor. And I found a rock. <laughs> then Aww. any papers that I see that are ripped that I feel like if I, if I see that they can go together like puzzle pieces or whatever, I'm going to cast mending. To, and obviously if it doesn't go together, it doesn't mend. But like, you know what I mean? Like seeing if I can piece things together that I find okay. around. Well, I mean, if you are specifically looking for the other pieces of that um, word, uh, you can roll another investigation check. Or if you're calling attention to it, Thor, if that's what you guys want to focus on looking for. Yeah, I would well. I would let them know immediately that I found something that may be pertinent. And I, I would share it with them, show them the paper. Um, also, go, oh, go ahead. Uh, I'm going to cast that uh, sphere of wind around the group, including uh, Charlotte and Nolra, so that the rain has kind of sub, uh, subsided because uh, we're in full on investigation mode. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to go, for it. go to Thor and cast um, guidance on him since he found it originally while we're continuing to look for the piece that matches it. No pressure. No pressure. It's okay. I'm going to roll a five. 
Nalra just because all hands or all eyes are better. And I'm going to be like, hey, Nalra, you see the shape right here? Can you find a piece of paper that has that same exact edge? Like, do that. It's like a puzzle. I didn't roll a five. I, I rolled so. a six. Here, help uh, Thank you for the guidance. It would have been a 13, but now it's a 17. Ooh. Hell yeah. And I rolled a six. <laughs> Okay. Um, wh- while we're looking, I'm going to cast um, Comprehend Language in okay. case anything is not on something we know. And um, would that help with partial language? So um, I know it's not, it just says you can comprehend what you can read. I know it's a partial word, but would it? Help it's not, me hint at me. I'll say it's not, I mean, it's not written in a any kind of script. It's written in common. It, it's written G-A-R. Oh, G-A-R, not L. R, yeah. What do you say? I also wrote oh, L. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not, it's not R, it's L. I'm totally sorry, I'm looking back. So it is that. still Gal Gadot. It's still Gal Gadot. Sweet. Still From the look of it, does it look like the... the it was ripped before the G, like there's something before the G, or the G A L is the no, beginning the of the G. No, the G is capitalized. Okay. So it is the beginning of the word. All right. So yeah. So I tell that to Nalra to help me look for puzzle pieces that may match that. And I guide her. Why the hell? Um, okay. would I be able to cast locate object on the other half? Or another piece of that paper. You would have to be familiar with the other piece of paper. Okay. Um, no, that's that's a great try. But uh, I'm so sorry. Did Loki? Did you also roll an investigation check, or you're just oh. looking at? Uh... No, I'm sorry. I did not realize. Okay. Uh, ten. Okay. Oh, were we rolling again? Yeah. yeah. Didn't you roll again? Oh, I didn't roll a second time. No. Go ahead. Oh, seventeen. Okay. Um, I will say with double 17s. Uh, Thok, you find a piece that appears to be the end, uh, and you see R A S. Lowercase, I'm assuming? Yes. This looks like it's the same script, and I show it to the rest. Gold don't, Rust. Don't s- say the name. Does it look like the sheets connect, or does it look like there's another piece missing? I was just about to say, like, if it connects. You all can roll a uh, an investigation collectively to see if it's that's the name or it's not. Uh, guidance is concentration, so you still for a minute, so you still have it. Next twenty twenty four. Uh, another seventeen. Twenty seven. Fourteen. Nineteen. All of you can identify there is a piece missing, which is the middle. Don't say it in case it's a demon. Don't say it in case it's a demon. And he's saying that to everyone. Um. And Manu's like, it's a hundred and ten percent the demon. Bring it here, fucking kid it. <laughs> uh. Another round of inves- investigation checks. Yes, please. Uh, oh, that's a good one, too. Oh, my God. I'm doing oh, so good tonight. <laughs> 13. Uh, modded 20. Natural 19. 16. Okay. Uh, I mean, you, who got who got a natural 20? Am I reading, hearing that wrong? Or no? no, modded 20. I got a modded mod 20. 20. Sorry. I got a 19. I'll say with the modded 19 and the 20, the two of you, Alder and Thor, you're able to find in the corner this very small scrap of paper that uh, reads uh, lowercase. It has two tears on the either side of it, and you see G-R-A. So... It's two sl- it's two slips of paper. We don't know if it goes G R A or R A G. I mean, you can you can see where no, it's the it's one slip. Okay. It's ripped on either side. It's ripped on both sides. Got to it. Show, to symbolize so the three. It goes in the middle. Heard so, that. Yes. 
So G A L G A R. G A R. G A L G A R R A S. G A L Gal Gadot. R A S. Gal Gadot. Oh, oh my. G R A, not G A R. No, G A L is the first three. G A L G R A R A. Everyone keeps saying G A R in the middle. <laughs> That's what Carlos is correcting. Oh. Both of you, I'm like, no. Oh, Dyslex- I, yeah, I wrote my it. My dyslexia is going crazy. Same, even though I don't have any. Dice Daddy, can you just spell it out for a whole as us, just so that way we're not dumb? Yes. G A L. Uh huh. G R A. R A S. Thank you. Rub rub. Rub. Gal Gadot. Yeah, come here, Gal Gadot. Don't say it. <laughs> Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot. <laughs> I looked at it three times. New... She's here. If you say it three it times, like... then there's another Israeli war. Uh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I look at Manu and just like mentally, I look at him and I'm like, does that ring a bell to you? And Manu kind of shakes his head, but he goes, no, it doesn't, it doesn't ring a bell. I mean, it's, it's not a death thing. It's a devil thing. It's, and he, he looks at you frustrated, but. He's mentally, he's not, it doesn't look like he's frustrated with you, but he goes, do you know how, like, powerful demon names are? Yeah. Okay. Because hear me out, we have his name now. And this could be something that we could definitely pitch later, because it seems like we're sharing. But I mean, if we can get, like, a circle, and we can put this fucker in something... He can ask him who his boss is. We have his fucking name. I think so we should share this with the group. Or I'm a, is he saying this out loud? Were you saying were you speaking to him out loud? I, I would suggest him to speak out loud if he wasn't. Okay. Then then yes. I don't want to keep any secrets. That would have came out, which is we have his fucking name now. Stop cursing around the child. Oh, and up. he, he looks up. at, at Nalra. Fuck, we we have more shit to worry about than the child. What about like all the child, alive. the children. Uh, that's a great point. We need to get the fuck out of here now. Um, and Thor is going to kind of uh, run up to to Nora and say, "Are you afraid of heights?" Uh, and she goes, "A little." Okay. Um, have you ever wanted to fly? Yes, I think that'd be really, really cool. Great. Let us do that then right now. Um, Thor is going to pick up Nora and kind of put her on his back. Um, and he's going to hold her hands with his, his other hand. Um, and he's going to go, we need to get to that tree as quickly as we can avoiding as much of the forest as we can i'm going to take off with this child in three seconds if nobody else gives me a better idea because we need to get back to the island and uh he's going to look at thok and alda and if you guys can contact your loved ones i would say now would be a very good time for that and i'm just going to look at him and nod in agreement and i'm going to cast wild shape on myself into a giant eagle so that way i can help fly because he can only carry so much so i can carry the rest how far away is um the tree roughly my Uh, flight uh, speed is 80 feet as a giant eagle so i can it's half the time that it would be walking okay so Um, how far away is it i remember correctly it was about a 15 20 minute walk from town roughly okay so how many feet would that be it's like I'm trying to see if I can cast something. Let's say two miles. Or I would mile. say that's that's roughly a the, mi- the mi- mile, mile and a half, probably. Okay, then I can walking, walking, thinking walking is a 16 minute mile. So. Okay, so like one mile if it's just 15. We'll say. It's, I, so we'll I can't say do it's anything anyway. It doesn't matter. Okay. 
Um, so I'll grab her and Charlotte. Um, Charlotte, I will um, kind of like the the uh, arm that I'm holding her with. I'll have Charlotte kind of like lock on as like a jerry-rigged kind of what the fuck ever. Okay. Uh, so that Alda can grab Thok and Loki because they weigh more than I'm assuming both of these young ladies. Uh, and then I'm going to explode off the ground with the hammer and just go in the okay. direction of the tree. Okay. Uh, I would say anything else that you guys want to do in Ishiki's hut as Alder is uh, shifting into a giant eagle. I'm going to cast Sending to Sue and say, hey, I can't explain, but I need you to head back to the Isle of Storms like yesterday. ASAP. Everyone's in danger. Okay. A few moments pass, and she sounds distressed. And she says, currently busy. We'll rendezvous. Okay. I mean, I trust her judgment, so. Okay. Go ahead and uh, roll perception. All of us? No, just him. Okay. 27. 27? Mm-hmm. You hear people screaming and uh, in the background, almost like it's a walkie-talkie, and you hear, like, waves and wood breaking. Uh, I'm going to use my last fourth level. Well, she said no rendezvous. Okay, no, I'm not going to spend it. I'm not going to call her back. Okay. Okay. Um, while all is changing, Loki's going to do one quick sweep around, um, now knowing the name um, and having a bit more sense of what's going on. Uh, going to look for any trinkets. Uh, what did he? Did he have a book that he was writing in all the time? He most likely would have had a uh, a ledger in that regard, yeah, and notes. Okay. okay. I would like to investigate around, but I'd also like to locate object on that. I, I vaguely remember him writing in something when we first met him. Okay. I'm going to be making a map. Perhaps it was a map that we he never was making got. Sorry, system for you. Mm-hmm. We never got it, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that map I'd like to cast locate object for. The map or the journal? Um. Uh, the map is of what solar system? It's been so long. I don't know if it's. It was ever. for. It was for where Talos might be. Right. I'm trying to remember if Ashford was putting to the star system, or it was Ashiki who was putting the star system. Down. It was. It was Ashford because it was his um, colleague who was assisting him, because he was the one who was Gil- able to Gilead identify. Gilead was doing it. Gilead right. was the one who was able to identify what it meant. So most likely the map would have been like just a location map, like to to the realms. When this was all the way back when you guys didn't have a map, he actually wow. built you a map, if I remember correctly, a crude map. He did, okay. and it was the map that you'd showed us previously of where we were to, to get to White Willow and Stone and uh, all that right. stuff. Okay, then I will. I'll look for that. I'll look for anything I've ever seen him work on. But I'm going to cast locate object for the journal. Okay. Okay, so you kind of investigate, since you do have knowledge of the journal, you're able to find it, and it looks like it's underneath uh, a few floorboards that you're able to uproot, and it looks like it is severely damaged, but you do locate it with the seal of iron on the front of it. Okay, and while I'm, while I'm down there, is there anything of value either like monetarily or intellectually <clears throat> um let me see here there will be um i'll just say we'll be uh as vague as possible cuz i'm going to come up with it uh you do see that there is a leather sack that you're able to pull up and it has some heft to it Okay. Um, doing that, I will walk over to where 
Ashiki was as Alda still uh, transforming. Also, mm-hmm. while he's transforming, I'm going to. Um, do I have to touch? No, I just have to see him. So as I'm walking by, I'll just I'll look at him and I'm going to uh, cast haste. So I'll pull a small licorice root out and just kind of flick it and say, "Got to go fast." <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> and continue. It's a psychic damage. <laughs> Um, so his movement speed is doubled, and his AC is plus two for the next whatever amount of time. And um, I think it's one minute. Uh, so I'll bump it. I'll use three more, no, four more spells to make it 16 minutes, or source three points to make it okay. 16 minutes. So we have the full duration to get there. And um, we wouldn't need that long. You could save your source three points. I can if do eight. If, I'm, I'm, remember, I'm faster than walking. It takes already... us 16 minutes, right? To walk. Yeah. So he can double it, which is going to be eight minutes. So and he would only hit it for four minutes. Oh, because it's double, right? So right. Yeah. Two, okay, so I'll use two sorcery points. Good catch. Um, on we don't on know you what to we're make it. See when we get there. What's that? I said save him. We don't know what we're going to see when we get there. This is me saying it as Mike, because I'm a bird right now. So. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just a birdie. Uh, I already did the two, so too late. Um, but I'm going to walk over after I toss it and over at Bayashiki. Um, would I be able to find his body ripped in half? Yeah, if you're able to find it. Okay. I will um, I will walk up to him and I'll take two gold pieces out of my satchel and mm-hmm. just place them upon his eyes. Okay. And... If you're able to do so, the head is still intact. Good. And uh, do I have anything... I believe I have a torch. But I'm going to burn the city. Or at least his body, and we'll see what happens to the city. So I pull out my torch and my tinderbox, and I begin lighting a fire. Um, I have nothing that can make the fire bigger. I have nothing that can make it magic. But Loki sits there, continuing to try and make the fire. Um, do you want me to roll for it? Yeah, go ahead. What should I roll? Uh, go ahead and just roll a spell attack for me. Spell attack. And the Alder was going, in bird form, was going to make a gesture to him to um, try and hurry up, but then he saw what he was doing as far as the gold on the eyes. I can't really talk right now, but I can still, I'm still cognizant of what's going on. So the bottle of liquor that I had from earlier, I'm going to go ahead and take and kind of kick it over to him. Uh, so that way he can try and spread the fire with the alcohol. So it rolls over and Loki hears just, or feels a little like bump on his foot. And then I just nod. And Loki gives him an eye. And he goes back, grabs the bottle, begins pouring it over his legs. And with a little bit left, just kind of flicks it out to make a bit of a trail. And he goes back to lighting. Um, the first roll was a 14. Oh, guidance, right? No, you don't have that anymore. I don't? Okay. I had to move it over to Thor, so. No worries. Um, so yeah, I got a 14. Okay. So, I mean, you're able to successfully do it. Um, doesn't take much uh, as the three of you kind of... We gotta go. Jet and Kareen off. We're, we're moving. Uh, we eventually do find the everyone back at the tree. Uh, almost like the rain is following Thor as the uh, terrain of this fungus where it was uh, very stale and dusk and uh, I would say stuffy almost has now been sheeted almost like the rain is keeping the spores down as Alder, you unshift and open your portal. Yes, which will be cast my sixth level through the tree and open it and have us all go in and get back to the island. Okay. So, uh, I will say for brevity, the... um, The, the travel is obviously instantaneous as you make it to the other end of the tree. 
and the uh, Isle of Storms is still standing. And it because seems that everything is as normal. Yeah, everything looks about the same. You occasionally see a few people kind of wave at you and they're like, hello, Thor, praise the Thunder, the Thunder Lord. Oh, thank you. Hercules told us to say that. <laughs> he would say that. Um, thank he you. He also so said much. you're like really bad at push-ups. Is that true? Uh, for now, I am. But uh, one-armed push-ups, I'm better than him. I've had a lot of practice. Go ahead and, you know what? Just because I'm having a nice time, make a perception check. All of us. Uh, no, just that is a 15. 15. This guy is kind of familiar. Uh, he looks similar to uh, another gentleman you saw. Is it uh, Hermes? It's not Hermes. Oh. Wizard uh, Steve. It's not Wizard Steve. He's doing <laughs> his own thing. <laughs> We're going to get up to the moon. Wizard Steve Moon, moon Edition is going to be there. Moon Edition. I'm wearing the space suit. Uh, it's at the moment that you realize who he looks like when his twin brother, who at one point shit his pants during a coliseum, he's like, oh, fuck, dude, <laughs> shit, this is the guy. No, Brandon, Brandon, this is the guy. This is my brother, Fireball Brandon. And he's like, yeah, that's me, Fireball Brandon, mate. Notice uh, we ain't got the same accents because we got different dads or whatever. That's uh, me and my brother have. Uh, the same dad, different moms. Oh, so. I'm so sorry about that, but also, like, hell yeah, brother, because, you know, you want to keep your family together, want to keep that unit tight. Yeah, keep it keep it tight. Uh, you guys have a, a great rest of your day. Um, praise the Thunder Lord or whatever you said. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Okay. You're the boss. This is your island. I mean, when we have Randy Island, shit. We're going to be having Fireball Brand Brandons everywhere. That's, if this conversation if this conversation goes on any longer, I will make you reveal your deepest, darkest, ashamed moments. Very Please sorry, shit off. my pants, man. That's your deepest, <laughs> darkest <laughs> moment. No, that's why I'm so fucked and fucking like freaked out that you're mentioning it. <laughs> we have we have other business to attend to. Uh, Randy, Fireball, Brendan, we will see you guys uh, when we see you. And Thor is going to uh, still got Nora uh, attached and is going to walk very hastily towards uh, the temple. Um, he's going to kind of do like a look back and just be like, how was that? Um, just kind of looking at her. Making sure she's okay. She goes, wow, we went really fast. Yeah, uh, we won't do that again for a long time. We just wanted to make sure that uh, we got here for supper. You know, I'm, you, I'm sure you're ready for a nice, uh, strong meal. No, I threw up already. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, that we're... happens the first time. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to we're gonna put it, we're going to get you some food or, yeah. Um, Charlotte, and I'm going to just hand her off to Charlotte and, uh, go to the temple, uh, to Hercules, uh, Heracles, and, yeah. As you get there, uh, Heracles is, I would say he's tending to, uh, his Pegasus and the animals, and there's Ren just taking notes, and she's like, oh, that's really fascinating. And so it's always had wings like that, and it's just it was just born like that? And he's like, oh, yeah, no, it's Pegasus are very, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's a natural thing. Oh, shit! Thor. Uh, I need to talk to you for a quick second. Um, excuse yeah, us, shoot. chicken. And I'm going <laughs> to... Uh, okay. I'm going to pull Hercules in another room. We need to get her off this island, uh, like, now. Yeah, I know she's, like, kind of annoying, but what? No, 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 no. Uh, she's made a deal with the big pointy mean one. What? Okay. Think of bad dudes. Like, really right. bad. All right. And think of them being in, um, I don't know, let's say... Uh, Oh, I don't know. A place where there's a lot of fire. All right, like a demon? Sure, like that, right, but like... like the worst one with the pointies. 
Just don't say his name. Like Azzy? Yeah. I'm not saying like the full name, like Azzy. Like yeah, yeah, just like that. Literally that. Not. Oh. Really? Yeah. Her? Yeah. Hold on one second. <laughs> and you see him, and he goes, "Hey, you working for Medeus?" <laughs> and she goes, "What?" Like she looks genuinely confused. No. I Wait, are we there? I would yeah. say you guys are there. You guys went in as a unit. Yeah, I, I don't think it's that one. I think it's worse. It's worse? And I'm going to just turn and look at Loki. Please take over. <sighs> you big, beautiful brute. You wonderful man. He's mad at you, don't forget. I know. And we'll kind of beat to shit. The worst demon you can think of. Surprisingly attractive. Not very nice. Got it, got it, got it. Does he actually get it? Talking about like Santa. And you see him wink. Yes, Santa. Yes, oh my god, thank you. And he looks over at Ren and goes, is this true? You've been hanging out with Santa? And Ren is like, I literally have no idea what we're talking about. Did you make a deal recently with my friends Olda and Doc? They asked me to come with them on their trip. Right, I know that. Did you make a deal in their vicinity with an individual oh um no i i mean i i didn't in particular i mean i was i was offered but that's not something i really um meddle in um i mean and what, I, and what did you say when you were offered no the word no I don't know if it was that ex those exact words. I was kind of having a moment. This creature goes by the letter of the law. Please, can you think closely? Did you say no? I didn't make a decision. And Loki, what do do I believe her? You can go ahead and roll an insight check. Okay. Because Josh does, but <laughs> that could just be your fantastic acting. <laughs> acting. Um, investigation, right? Uh, Fifteen. She seems to be earnest. She's a little scared. Um, and how you're acting. Thor, Thor will step in. Thor, Thor will, will step in. I don't believe we've been properly introduced. Properly. Hi. I'm Thor. This is the Isle of Storms. This is my island. And I want you to be here so that you are safe. That is the most important thing to me, is that the people that are on this island, the centaurs, the individuals from Valoria, Charlotte, Nala, no, yeah, that they're all safe. Yeah, uh, uh, of of course. Are you? I, I need I need to make sure that nothing is being done to put these people or you in harm's way. Did you make a deal? Did you leave? even a room for doubt that this individual could capitalize on. I may have, but I think you might have the wrong impression of me. And you see her and she kind of walks 
takes a step back because it feels like everyone's kind of overbearing on her. I'll I take a step back as well. Give her some spice. I I didn't ask to do this. I was happy in Papel. Dorinda took care of me and took care of the girls and, and Bruca and whatever deal she's made, I I didn't make. Would you like to go back to Papel? And she looks and she goes, I've I've really liked it here. I'm I'm not saying that you have to leave. And you I, see her, I, she's gripping like her notebook. I and I'm gonna drop the hammer in all pretense. Ren, my brother and I, we are gods. We've heard tale of this individual before. We just want to make sure that everyone here is safe, yourself included. I will protect you with my life if I need to. And I would do that without asking anything of you. I just need to know if you yourself are involved in anything I need to be worried about for the people on this island. They've suffered enough heartache and trauma to last them lifetimes. We don't need any more. And she just goes, no, I mean, I'm not as, I'm as involved as, and she looks over at Thok and Alder and she goes, as they are. I mean, and she gestures at Thok, you knew the guy who took us to him. What? Same thing. Dorinda, she's been on her own path to be, and she thinks, and she goes, the avatar of wrath, but I'm not vengeful. I'm not wrathful. She's done so much for me. She protected me. She protected the town. She's doing this, and you, I don't understand. You mean? You, you lied, and you said that you, she was going to help, and that we were going to help. We're not, we're not lying. There's, there's no lies being told. We just needed to make sure that you were able to tell us the truth about the situation. There's a lot of details that got lost in translation, and we've been in a very difficult place today. Um, Ren, I, I thank you so much. And you are more than welcome to be on this island for as long as you'd like. But the second you wish to return to Papel, you let us know and we will take you there. We will protect you. We will be your friends. And you have nothing to fear from us. You have nothing to fear on the Isle of Storms. You have my word. And she looks at you and she briefly makes your gaze before looking back down and then she looks up at Pericles and she just goes I think I'd just like to be alone for a moment if you'll excuse me and she exits the temple well it could have been worse it might still be. You're not wrong. We should move these people. When I messaged Sue to come to the Isle of Storms, there was something going on in the background. Screams, attacks. Aldo, are you able to get a hold of your family in any way? Um... No, without traveling. I don't have a means of communication. And I'll look at Thok. Are you able to communicate with his brothers, father, mother? I, I can send one more message today. Just 
reach out to my mother and make sure she's okay. Very well. Just say, hey, this is Alda's friend, Thok. Just trying to make sure that everything's okay where you're at. You can reply. I say those exact same words and send it. Okay. A few moments pass and you hear Alder's mother and her voice in her head and she goes, despite the very brief heart palpitations uh, given by this random message, yes, I'm, I'm fine. Is Alder okay? She's uh, she's doing fine. I may have gave her a fright. Um, she also asked me if you're okay, but I'm not able to uh, answer that at the moment. So I hope that she takes my absence and silence as a yes. She's a mother. She's not going to. I mean, theoretically, I can send it one more time, but it would mean spending my last highest level i would hold that for now um and i will look at loki what about creed and valdana wait and i'll look at loki and i'll like push where my necklace would be because valdana has mine and i, I would assume one. that he very quickly would pick up on where i'm going with this and and seeing that he he like frantically gets into his his shirt whatever he has and it's like uh, uh creed creed are, are you there are you there please respond yeah yeah i'm okay yeah Loki, you're okay yeah we're here where we're are just, you now we're still in the in the fishing town we're still rebuilding after all the geysers okay Is, hey, can you... are you okay things are are bigger than than we had thought before, which is not something that I had thought I would feel. We need you. Uh, real quick, out of, is Ned on the island or is he there? Ned is with her. Yeah. Okay. Please. Ride Ned back here. Please. Where's he at? Uh, the, I'm uh, sorry, Isle of Storms. My brother's island, not too name drop <laughs> very modest <coughs> he's got an island whatever it's <laughs> no big deal i'm used to it his name's on the list i swear i don't think my brother the island of storms <laughs> of uh, the islands of these storms uh she's just gonna go you just yeah i fuck okay um I I just I have to get my ship in order. I'm, I'll try to get there as soon as I can. Please. There's, there are things that we need to make you aware of. Uh, and you know Thor is standing across from Loki, going Valdona, Valdona. Yes, I and yes, I know that is next. I'm the one talking. Wow. And then I could pull out my necklace <laughs> and be like, hey, Valdana, are you okay? Oh my god, I'm busy. It's one channel. <laughs> not one you gotta channel. dial, you get a busy tone. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and me, me, me. after a while, you just kind of hear, yeah, I mean, I've heard this entire conversation. <laughs> cool, thank you. I was also, am I going to ride the dragon thing, or am I taking the ship back? Honestly, that's a Ned question. <laughs> <sighs> and I'm just going to say, honestly, I, I'm not going to put my hand on the thing. I'm just say, I feel like r having them ride Ned back is a bad idea. You're a bad idea. Ned is a beautiful angel. He's a so, majestic he's creature, but... Literally I, a dragon. Does he... Do, does he trust them? I think he scarcely trusts you. He loves me very much. Anyway, Creed. Just get back here as soon as you can. Things are unfolding and, and not... Not the way I had hoped. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're on it. Can you can you ask her if she knows where the horizon is? Yeah. Um and Thok wants to know, he says hi. Do you know where the horizon is? And there's a moment and she goes, Darling, I can barely keep uh, track of my own ship. No, I'm not sure where they are. They are in chaos. Yes, they are. I heard it. You you told us that, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I don't. I'm so in the dark. We're so in the dark. We need you here. Do your best. Take care of your crew. And prepare for the worst. Are there two apocalypses? Just let me know if there's two apocalypses, because I don't think I can bear another one. There's three. I fucking knew it. You joke, but... <laughs> <laughs> this is not sarcasm. <laughs> okay. I think, unless we want to continue, I know we're over our, our time. We started late. We started late, but yes, okay. I, I do think that's good. Whew. Right. That was. You doing an outro for this? Even yeah, though... I'm gonna do. I'm yeah, gonna do, I'll outro. Still do an outro. I can do it. That was something, man. Holy shit, uh, guys! Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Uh, this is another episode of Dungeons and Dragons and Junk Drawer. Dang. Dang. Thank Dang. you guys so much for hanging out. We will see you guys all back here next week, same time. Same junk drawer channel. Have a have a great rest of your week, week everybody. We uh, we love you, and we'll see you guys next time. Yay! Bye. 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 Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs>